Hello friends, it's been some time since I recorded anything. There have been a lot of reasons for that. Uh, one of them is, of course, uh, this crazy time that we are living in, Corona times, and uh, it seems as if the whole world is gone, gone mad. That is one reason why I haven't made any videos uh, recently. Second reason is that I've been working around the house, repairing some stuff. Our terrace needed some work. My garage was teared down and rebuilt again. So there's been a lot of uh, physical work that I've been doing since April and now we have summer but in Denmark the summer is more like late autumn at this moment so uh, I don't enjoy my summer right now and due to corona I decided not to travel anywhere uh, overseas this season because that is what Danish government and uh, officials are recommending just stay home so that is uh, also one of the reasons I haven't made any videos recently so what is in the store for uh, my channel I don't know um, I've just made a switch from uh, Linux Mint Debian edition to the original uh, Debian 10 Buster um, and the switch I'm talking about uh, only counts for my laptop which is a Lenovo T540 and um, the switch is only made there I'm still running uh, Linux Mint Debian Edition 4 on my main computer, uh, which is a stationary computer. I've changed to Debian on my laptop. It is this one I'm using right now, and I really love it. Uh, I decided to go with XFCE uh, desktop environment. It is... Uh, a D that I do not have a great history with. I don't know why. Um, I know it is rock solid and stable, but I think it's something about its aesthetics that I didn't like. However, I decided to make a piece with XFCE, so I installed Debian with uh, XFCE. So, of course, I changed it a little bit from the, the official looks to this one I have right now. This is my menu. It's in Danish. And I actually prefer it in English, but only because I need the, uh, you know, uh, let me show you Abbey Ward. I need it for dictionary, actually. I don't know why. It's not like I uh, really depend on it, but I like this feature that I can uh, catch a misspelled word, you know, uh, in Danish, how uh, to speak. You write like this, Voden Mentela. So if I write it, this it should give yeah a mistake here so so I like it and then I know that I made you know a typo and then I can just right click and uh, make a change to one n so this is what I need but unfortunately in Debian this is not possible to do if I'm using English or at least it's probably possible but I'm not 
that knowledgeable in using Debian. It was really easy in Linux Mint where I could just install different languages, but in Debian it's a bit harder. So I uh, think I installed something called Cinnamon Danish Desktop or something like that in order to make it uh, work. Oh, not Cinnamon, but Task Danish. Yeah, so it was one package that make it, it possible. So I don't know. This is why I have everything now in Danish and it is really something that uh, I am not used to. Even in uh, my terminal, everything is in Danish. You know, when I update repositories, look, it, it's all in Danish. It's a bit strange for me at least, but uh, yeah, it's uh, other thing I uh, made change. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the appearance. I have, uh, I'm using Advaita Dark. I have also Windows 95 here which I actually quite like. Um, there is, it brings up the memories. I've been, I've used Windows 95. I even remember that time uh, I was a teenager and I uh, remember using all those disks. I think they were like 16 disks. Then came, of course, the CD-ROM. But I remember Windows 95, and I actually like the looks of 95. Uh, I think Windows went from almost perfect looks on Windows 95 to, you know, worse and worse uh, versions of uh, Windows. Uh, XP was okay, but it was a total departure from the 90. Uh, Windows 95 looks. Anyway, I'm using Edweda Dark at this moment. And icons, I'm using Papyrus Dark. I actually prefer to say Papyrus, but I don't know. I think in English it's Papyrus Dark. Uh, it's not my favorite, but it's okay for now until I find something more pleasing to my eye at least so of course this is what i did in order to make a change from the default xfce looks and i um, like it this moment i like it it's dark and it resembles somewhat of my cinnamon desktop environment that i'm using on my linux mint which I really, really like. Cinnamon is my favorite desktop environment, but I really wanted to, uh, you know, use or get used to another desktop environment. So, you know, the choice was between uh, Mate and XFCE. Since I know much more Mate, I decided to try XFCE. And here we are. I really like it. I really like XFCE, not much for the looks, but it, I like the possibilities that you can change a lot of things in XFCE, which I really don't know a fraction of at this moment, but it's nice. It seems that it has much more things than uh, cinnamon. But I like cinnamon, you know, I like its simplicity, but it is not always giving you total control over what you can do and change in on your system. So yeah, that's it. Um, XFCE I'm using and I really enjoy uh, the low consumption, uh, memory consumption, as you can see right now let me close this browser and i have of course my simple screen recorder running at the moment 
otherwise you wouldn't uh, hear me and the terminal and let's see the memory consumption it is it's only one gigabyte but when i start up my debian it usually holds at 500 megabytes so it is what it is running when uh, idle or at least when uh, i start up my debian system on this machine so it is uh, much more lighter than cinnamon i think my cinnamon runs at 900 megabytes so it is at least 400 megabytes less or so very good so what do i have installed on this machine at this moment not much i'm running firefox i am i installed time shift for making a backup of my system i have audacious it is my preferred audio app I have simple screen recorder in order to record what I'm doing right now. I have VLC, actually, I prefer uh, celluloid and MPV, uh, but VLC is great. I've been using it since, you know, the age of Abraham and Jesus. So VLC is also quite good. I'll pay maybe slightly bloated, I don't know, but I like it, I like VLC. On Linux Mint, I usually use their fork uh, of mousepad, it's called Z, very powerful, small, simple text editor, which I like, but here we don't have Z, On Debian, we have mousepad, and I like it, I really like it a lot. Uh, it reminds me of Z. As I said, Z is a fork of the mousepad, I believe. So that is that. I haven't installed much on my machine here. I have a mega app running. I switched from uh, Dropbox to Mega recently. I had some issues on my machine on my Linux Mint, so I switched to Mega. Uh, I had the account for several years now, but I never used it uh, uh, actively, so, so I'm doing it now. What about Office? I have Abbey Word. There is Atril as a document app, LibreOffice, I don't use that. I have Dictionary and Zathura as my PDF viewer as well. I like Zathura, very, very simple. Multimedia, I have uh, Audacious, Audacious, I have Simple Screen, VLC, and an XF Burn. I tried to remove XF Burn, but no, 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 you do not want to do that, at least not in Debian, because if you do that, you will get this um, message, you know, if you remove XF burn, then you will have to remove all these packages and just take a look. It's basically the whole XFCE uh, getting removed if you remove that particular um, package and that is not great thing. So uh, I will have to live with XF burn even though i do not burn my cds and i haven't done that for many years but who knows maybe i will get to it so this is just a little update on my switch on my laptop lenovo from lnde to the real thing debian debian 10 and actually i said that i was running buster version yes until a couple hours ago when i shifted from stable to testing, testing uh, version, yes. So you can see here, running, uh, it's not Sid, I don't know why it said Sid, but it's a testing, so that is it. 
quite like it uh, for now. I hope that I will stick to it because I really, really like Debian. And uh, that is uh, that is it. Thanks and uh, goodbye.